Hi guys, we've decided to move up the release date. Normally we would release on the 1st of January, but as people now have holidays and free days and family time, maybe some of us have some time over for an ISO. So next release will be on the 24th December. So we start uploading everything on, the fr on Friday and hope that everything is then on all the mirrors in 20. Four. That's it, right? The six core ISOs, so XL, all the XSs, and then the D. And new guys is Hyperland and Sway. And this is the video about what is new, right? The other video was how to stay rolling. Every month you get that. What is happening to, in my operating system and how do I stay rolling? So two days and then everything will be released. We are going to skip the AAG timing, right? We're just going ahead with a release and then it's holiday also for us. So what is new? We have, we're doing a little baby steps and understand that as it is, right? Do what you say and say what you do. Small steps. That's what we're taking with Wayland and with two desktops, Hyperland and Sway. Let's go in depth in these two guys and then maybe later on we can visit the river new wm wayfire and so many more right hyperland is our first desktop gradually we went better okay there's one big important thing here virtual box nvidia drivers spoil the fun by that i mean the big letters here installation on real metal only no nvidia drivers should be present I have here machines with NVIDIA cards. I just don't install the NVIDIA driver. And then I can get Hyperlint and Sway to work. So Hyperlint is this kind of look, a bar at the bottom, right? And we explain you a lot of things already, a long playlist. And each time something comes up, we simply take another, make another video, put it in the playlist as it's called, Et voilà, you have more information. The same here, Sway, of course, real metal only, no video drivers, let that be clear. And the easiest way will always be the Arclinx B, because that's all configured. There's no mixing involved. It's the purest, purest you can have, just Sway or just Hyperland. When you start mixing things, right, you need knowledge and things to overcome elements that change and say why is this changed right knowledge is required then so videos how to install all that we are taking baby steps that means that the Arclinx XL will have this and the Arclinx D obviously right because that's the guy that's the most minimal the most bare where you decide to have Bluetooth or not printers or not SDM or GDM and so on kernels and all that and also desktop but same rule here on real metal no drivers of nvidia present and then you can try out one of them not two of them one of them because these guys need variables this wayland profile is exactly the same as this wayland profile so that's common what differs is the variables in this one and in that one and it all if you start mixing, it will always be at some point with an application an issue because he thinks he's on Sway, on Sway but it's actually on Hyperlin. So install one of them. And that's why the Arclinx Bs are okay. You won't have that choice in Arclinx B. There will be no mess with variables that are clashing with each other because you won't see this. All right. So Arclinx D guys and Arclinx XL also possible make sure to choose watch some videos see what you like and try that first then we've added g4 music i see the title is gone here there used to be a title about it okay so a new audio player g4 music has been added to our playlist there's some new aliases that we have here xdv xdw to have a list of the applications that we have in Wayland, right? So that's uh, Gnome Wayland and Gnome Desktop that I have now 
here installed. There is the title. So, okay, I messed that up, that's clear. <laughs> I'll check that out. How to make bare Arclinks B ISO? Somebody asked me, Eric, I want to have the barest of plasmas. Voila, I explained it to you guys. And this is how it looks, a bare plasma ISO. You do whatever you want to do. How to make a bare ISO based on Arclinx B ISOs. And it's about plasma, but it can be about anything. It's just a workflow. We have 30 plus desktops, so go ahead and do it with every desktop. We have an Arclinx i3 theme. So you may have seen that in 2021, from February till, I don't know, very late, I think, uh, maybe even September, October, I don't recall. I've always been on left WM, right? And this is the look of left WM imported in i3. So we have developed and explained also how do you create your own i3 theme based on left WM. And basically it's a polybar app with a polybar configuration and adapt everything that's not i3. So all the left WM references need to go out and only i3 remains. So we've shown you how to create an ISO like that. So you have, it's a super simple, a few things pop and you build your ISO and you have this look out of the box. All right. So from Plasma Flow, by accident, I combined something. I thought this looks nice. So these icons, we always look are looking at the folders, right? Our file manager is oh, so many times open. So this needs to be nice and, and yeah, sometimes we need to, we like to change. So this is a new guy, Surfing Plasma Flow. This is going to be the look anywhere. I don't know, this looks, yeah, this is Plasma, but it can be anywhere and um, have this look. Although when I add the word Plasma, then it's probably just for Plasma, right? There are some surfing icon themes that I call Plasma, then it really is built and meant for it, but you can try. We had some luck with um, and with mailing, right? Because I'm still looking for hosting. So guys, if you say, I like Arc Linux, but the server is too slow in a sense, because South America and Belgium and Amsterdam and North America and, and Korea, I think we have, and then Sweden now, I mean, I don't know where you live and how's your connection, but if you can um, get me in contact with somebody else who wants to host packages, then great, just let me know. At some point in time, Arch Linux decided, and I think it's around six months or so ago, they decided to add a service of QMU. Okay, let's let's continue, let's do that and let's follow that. And we've seen errors since then because when you're on VirtualBox, he wants QMU wants to load up, and then that's not possible. I mean, there's no sense in loading that up because it's in VirtualBox. And then you see this error, and people were panicking and, and worried about that. And I said, okay, forget about it. We're gonna remove the QMU service again because all the time we're on VirtualBox as default, but. It's so simple, if you want to activate it, it's just typing this little line here. And remember, QMU guest agent. And this you should know, right? system CTL enable now. The thing is, the now replaces the pseudo system CTL start. So first you enable, then you start. Now you don't have to type start anymore because it's the word now. So what's new? That's the video we're making. It's gonna go in here. How to stay rolling, done that. Video is online. Yeah, well, we're at the end of the articles and um, maybe for the last, well, weeks of the year, think about the following idea. I've told it also in the videos of, of Linux Mint and Endeavor OS. Think about this. If you're using Arclex full-time, right? And you're getting it's fun and you have a great operating system for free. You get help and everything works. Well, think about donating. 
because I think somebody has the door because it all costs money and um, just think about that. All right. Cheers.